Right, so I'm just going to do a simple little video of um, this little motor, which is more like an energizer, but it's kind of both. Um, so this is the Bedini motor. Um, it's made by Rick Friedrich. So it's a motor slash energizer, right? So I've only just got one coil. I've got one coil here. There it is. And I've got a little tape to measure RPMs there. Now this is six. It's a six pole monopole. All right. They're all North Pole magnets. I've got a trigger coil down here. All right. And um, I've got 12 volts on the input. It runs nice at 24, but just 12 volt for this video. And I've got a 12 volt battery charging. I'm charging a 12 volt battery negatively with negative charging inverted on the output now this is a 7 amp hour battery this is a 17 amp hour battery and we can charge this battery with this battery right uh john bedini will calls it radiant spikes radiant pulses so we're pulse charging this with radiant negative energy 17 amp hours this is 7 amp hours this is the voltage of the 17 amp hour battery. And I have just been charging it, so it'll, it'll come down a little bit, but you can see 11.86, okay? Now I'll start this up. This is the, this is the current draw. And it'll draw about 100 milliamps, okay? And we've got a MOSFET, which has got a low resistance, low RDS, okay? Low RDS. Everything stays cool when it's running, the coil and the MOSFET. we got about, this is a 500 ohm resistor on the gate, and it's turned down a little bit, so it's maybe at about 400 ohms, right? Something like that. Between 400 and 450 ohms. Just like John Bedini said, 470 ohms is a good place to start. Right, so I will crank up crank up the engine, so to speak. And I've got an RPM reader here. And I was getting 5,000 RPM reading when I had it at 24 volts. I don't know how reliable this is. You know, if you know these cheap tachometers, I mean, I don't know how reliable they are, but there we go. Anyway, so I'll crank it up. It draws maximum current to begin with. And then it comes back, comes right down as it um, settles. So I'll keep... I'll just keep the uh, the video there. I'll crank it up. Charging.
Right, this is not reliable. I don't trust this. You can't trust these things. They're just not reliable. Now, we'll look at the voltage on the run battery. Twelve point seven three. Now that is very. The run battery stays very very stable. It's very very slowly reduces. I mean, it probably won't even go down while I'm doing this video. It holds. The clips one reverse, so that's actually positive. It's twelve point seven three holding. Okay, and 120 milliamps. Holding. Everything's cool. This is cool. The MOSFET is cool. There's no heat. Like John Bedin said, it can run cool and look, it takes very little energy. Take the clips back to this battery. Now that will charge slowly, it will charge very slowly because we've only got one coil and 12 volts is quite low to run it at. But mostly it's just one coil so it's slow charging. Right, and if I stop it, you will see it go down. There you go, see? Just so you can see it is charging when it's running. Okay, now I'll run it at 24 volts just briefly. So 24 volts, it goes a bit faster. Drops and settles. Eleven point nine. Okay, so, you know, it's very interesting, the Bedini motor slash energizer. We charge 17 amp hour battery from 7 amp hour batteries. These are in series. You know, you just get higher RPMs with 24 volts. And it's still, it's still cool. So, like John Bedini says, you stay within the safe operating range of the MOSFET or transistor, things will stay cool, and that's highest efficiency. You see it's going down, so we were charging it. We do charge the 17 amp hour with the 7 amp hour. So, here we go. Uh, just wanted to show it at the most simplified setup. Okay, 
Um, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.